In this video, we will study about the male reproductive system. The male reproductive system consists of the external sex organs, which include the penis and the scrotum, and the internal sex organs, which include the testes, epididymis, vas deferens, seminal vesicle, and the prostate gland. First, let's talk about the external sex organs. The penis is the male external organ that serves as a common pathway for urine and the semen. The penis is made up of glands, root, and the body. The root of the penis is the part which attaches the penis to the body. The root of the penis lies in the superior perineal pouch. To understand the structure of the body of the penis, let's look at a cross section of the body. It consists of three columns of tissues, two corpora cavernosa on the dorsal side, and one corpus spongiosum on the ventral side. The corpora cavernosa are columns of erectile tissue that have spaces or caverns in between them that get filled with blood and erect the penis. The corpora cavernosa also contain deep arteries in them. The corpus spongiosum is a column of spongy tissue. The male urethra passes in between the corpus spongiosum. The glands is the enlarged corpus spongiosum at one end. It is covered with foreskin called prepuce. The next external reproductive organ is the scrotum. The scrotum is a pouch-like structure made up of skin that has two main functions. It protects the testes and maintains a scrotal temperature which has 2 to 3 degrees Celsius temperature lower than the body temperature which is very important for the process of spermatogenesis. The scrotum also contains numerous blood vessels and nerves. The cremaster muscle present in the scrotum contracts and pulls the scrotum closer to the body whenever the outside temperature falls too low, thus maintaining a constant scrotal temperature. Now let's talk about the internal reproductive organs and the first internal reproductive organ that we will discuss is the testes. The testes is the main male reproductive organ that has two main functions. The first is to produce the male gametes that are the sperms and second is the production of male reproductive hormone that is a testosterone. The testes has an outer covering called tunica vaginalis that is an extension of the peritoneum and an inner covering called tunica albuginea that is thicker and is made up of dense connective tissue. The tunica albuginea sends various septae in the parenchyma of the testes which divides the testes into numerous lobules. These lobules contain seminiferous tubules. Seminiferous tubules are highly coiled tube-like structures. Now let's look at the structure of the wall of a seminiferous tubule. As you can see, the wall of the seminiferous tubules contains three types of cells. The Leydig cells, Sertoli cells and the germ cells. The Leydig cells have the primary function of production of the hormone testosterone. The germ cells differentiate towards the lumen of the seminiferous tubules to immature sperms. And the Sertoli cells have a function to protect and provide growth to the developing germ cells. Now let's talk about the next internal reproductive organ that is the epididymis. The epididymis is a highly coiled tube-like structure which connects the testes to the vas deferens. The epididymis is made up of the following parts, the head, the body and the tail. The immature sperms produced in the seminiferous tubules pass to the epididymis via the efferent ductules. These immature sperms travel towards the tail of the epididymis and go through the process of maturation. During this process of maturation, the immature sperms become mature and gain the properties like motility and fertility. The next internal reproductive organ is the vas deferens. The vas deferens is also known as the ductus deferens. The ductus deferens is a 30 cm long tube that connects the epididymis to the ejaculatory duct. The wall of vas deferens is lined by smooth muscles that helps the passage of sperm through its lumen. The next internal reproductive organ is the seminal vesicle, which is a small secretory gland that connected to the vas deferens via a small duct. The main function of seminal vesicle is that it produces the seminal fluid that mixes with the sperms and forms the semen. This fluid is alkaline which prolongs the survival of the sperms as the environment inside the vagina is acidic. The final internal reproductive organ is the prostate gland. 
The prostate lies below the bladder and the main function of prostate in the reproduction is that it produces alkaline fluid that forms 30% of the total semen volume. This fluid improves the survival and motility of the sperms. So this was a brief overview about the male reproductive system. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like our channel on YouTube for all the upcoming videos and make sure to like our channel on Facebook for flashcards and upcoming notifications.